Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a quick tutorial on how to get the best natural looking glowy skin. Make sure you start with clean exfoliated skin. You can add an oil for extra hydration. This one is the Pink Diamond Lifting Oil from Rodeal, which is incredibly hydrating yet lightweight. It absorbs straight away and doesn't affect your makeup whatsoever. You can use it in place of a primer, especially if you have dry skin. I'd usually start with a foundation, but in this case, I'm going to apply my concealer first, as we want the foundation to really be the star of the show. This is the Cover FX Cream Concealer, which gives a fluid, lightweight, and skin-like coverage. Apply with a damp beauty blender to areas that need a little extra coverage. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation as my base. This is a hybrid skincare foundation which contains active ingredients that hydrate and repair the skin. It gives a beautiful, light, but buildable coverage, resulting in a healthy-looking glow. I'm using the Makeup Forever 112 Buffing Foundation Brush to really work this into the skin. For an extra boost of radiance, spritz the skin all over with Pixi's Glow Mist. Setting powder is always imperative, even when going for a glowy base. There's a difference between looking radiant and just well oily. The key is to apply it only in areas that are prone to shine, mainly the T-zone and also a little under the eyes to prevent your concealer from creasing. Now for the best part, blusher and highlighter. I'm using a combination of Natasha Denona's Duo Glow and NARS OX Blush on my cheeks. Both are extremely pigmented and shimmery products, so you need the bare minimum just to give a natural flush to the cheeks. Apply in an upward motion to lift the face. Last but certainly not least, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter on the tops of my cheekbones and dabbing it in with a beauty blender to blend it out. This product gives a real lit from within, just had a facial type glow to your skin. I love this look and once you've mastered it, it can be done in less than five minutes. What do you think? Do you prefer highlighted or matte skin? Let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching. See you next time.